From the CISO series, it's Cybersecurity Headlines. These are the Cybersecurity Headlines for Wednesday, May 8th, 2024. I'm Sean Kelly. U.S. indicts Lockbit ransomware ringleader. Following up on a story we brought to you yesterday on Cybersecurity Headlines, on Tuesday, the DOJ charged the mastermind behind the notorious Lockbit ransomware as a service operation. The DOJ unmasked 31-year-old Russian national Dmitry Yurevik Koroshev in a 26-count indictment that includes charges of fraud, extortion, and damaging protected computers. The charges carry a combined maximum penalty of 185 years in prison. Koroshev is accused of designing Lockbit, recruiting affiliates, and maintaining Lockbit's infrastructure and leak site. Groshev allegedly received over $100 million in proceeds from ransom payments. The U.S. is offering a reward of up to $10 million for information leading to his arrest. Similar sanctions were also announced on Tuesday by the United Kingdom and Australia. DocGo discloses a cyber attack that compromised patient health data. The firm disclosed in an SEC filing on Tuesday that threat actors breached its systems and stole patient health data. DocGo provides mobile health and ambulance services and remote monitoring for patients in 30 U.S. states and across the United Kingdom. DocGo has engaged third-party cyber experts to aid in their investigation and is actively reaching out to affected individuals. The company said that a limited number of healthcare records were affected and that they do not expect the attack to have a material impact on their operations or finances. Payroll data breach exposed data of UK military personnel. British defense officials said Tuesday that names and bank details of as many as 272,000 soldiers, sailors, and Air Force members have been exposed in a breach of a third-party payroll system. Media reports surfaced indicating that Chinese hackers are suspected of carrying out the cyber attack and the Ministry of Defense said it could not rule out state involvement. China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs responded to the allegations, stating it opposed all forms of cyber attacks as well as the use of cybersecurity issues to deliberately smear other countries for political purposes. New attack leaks VPN traffic using rogue DHCP servers. Researchers at Leviathan Security have detailed a new attack dubbed Tunnel Vision that can route traffic outside a VPN's encryption tunnel, allowing attackers to snoop unencrypted traffic. The issue stems from a vulnerability in Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, or DHCP's, lack of an authentication mechanism for incoming messages that could enable route manipulation. The researchers said for the attack to work, victims would need to first connect to an attacker-controlled DHCP server, which puts users of public Wi-Fi at the greatest risk. The vulnerability has been present since at least 2002, but there are no known cases of active exploitation in the wild. And now a word from our sponsor, Vanta. Are lengthy security reviews pulling attention away from your security program? With the largest network of trust centers, Vanta can help you streamline security reviews to win customer trust, save time, and close deals fast. Proactively demonstrate security by showcasing key resources like your SOC 2 and ISO 27001 and provide real-time evidence for passing controls. And when a security questionnaire is required, Vanta takes the first pass for you. Visit vanta.com slash CISO to take a tour. That's V-A-N-T-A dot com slash CISO. Biden signs bill to protect children from online sexual abuse and exploitation. Last week, lawmakers proposed a bipartisan bill to protect children from online sexual exploitation. On Tuesday, President Biden officially signed the Report Act into law. This marks the first time that websites and social media platforms are legally obligated to report crimes related to federal trafficking, grooming, and enticement of children to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children's cyber tip line. Under the new law, companies that intentionally neglect to report child sex abuse material on their site will suffer a hefty fine. For example, platforms with over 100 million users will be fined $850,000 for a first-time offense. Hackers exploit light speed cache flaw to create WordPress admins. Hackers have been targeting WordPress sites with an outdated version of the Lightspeed Cache plugin to create administrator accounts and gain control of websites. Lightspeed Cache is used in over 5 million WordPress sites and speeds up page loads, improves visitor experience, and boosts Google search rankings. In April, researchers observed a spike in threat actors compromising sites with vulnerable plugins using a high-severity unauthenticated cross-site scripting flaw. 
WordPress site admins are recommended to update plugins to the latest version, remove or disable unneeded components, and monitor for newly created admin accounts. Two-thirds of organizations failing to address AI risks. According to new research from ISACA, just 34% of digital trust professionals believe organizations are paying sufficient attention to AI ethical standards. Under a third said organizations are adequately addressing AI concerns such as data privacy and bias. This despite 60% of respondents stating that employees at their organization are using generative AI tools in their work. The study showed that the number of organizations now formally permitting the use of Gen AI is up 14% compared to just six months ago. The three most common ways AI is currently being used is to increase productivity, automate repetitive tasks, and create written content. CISA is moving the needle on vulnerability remediation. CISA launched its ransomware vulnerability warning pilot in January of 2023 and issued 1,754 warning notices to entities with vulnerable internet accessible devices in its first year. The agency said that nearly half, for a total of 852, of these notifications resulted in organizations either patching, briefly taking systems offline to fix the issue, or otherwise mitigating exploitable flaws. The pilot program is set to launch as a fully automated warning system by the end of next year. Meanwhile, another CISA-led initiative called Known Exploited Vulnerabilities, or KEV, which the agency introduced in 2021, is also speeding up vuln remediation times. The KEV is designed to notify government agencies and enterprises of high-risk threats in the wild. BitSight reported that critical KEVs are remediated 2.6 times faster than non-KEV threats, while high-severity KEVs are fixed 1.8 times faster. Nonprofits and NGOs are the slowest to remediate, while tech companies and insurance and financial firms are the fastest. And that does it for today's cybersecurity headlines. Remember, we've got the finals of our Capture the CISO show coming up next week. We're down to the final three, and we're hosting the finals live on May 17th at 1 p.m. Eastern. We'll hear from our final three competitors, and our CISO judges will crown the winner live on the show. It's a great chance to get an inside look at what CISOs and vendors talk about behind closed doors. If you want to join in on the fun, head over to CISOseries.com slash events to register. Thank you for listening. I'm Sean Kelly, reporting for the CISO series. Cybersecurity headlines are available every weekday. Head to CISOseries.com for the full stories behind the headlines.